Hi, this is Mark Quarto with Automotive Research and Design, and today's video is on the 4ET50 transmission, which is the standard transmission in the Chevrolet Volt. So let's take a look at some of the external components and connections on this transmission. Uh, let's go around here to the front first. Uh, when you come around here to the front, you actually have the uh, TECM, which is the, uh, the controller and the valve body for this trans. It still has a uh, valve body in it, but uh, has an integral controller. When you come around to the backside over here, this is actually a connection for the drive motor resolver. And what the resolver does is it provides RPM input and direction uh, for the motor. And then we come around to this side over here. What we have are uh, some very large high voltage connections. Uh, the front connector here happens to go over to the uh, motor A, which is the generator on this transmission. And then what we have over here is the rear connection which goes over to motor B, which is the drive motor. Uh, the drive motor is a 111 kilowatt uh, motor, and the generator is a 55 kilowatt uh, generator, which also serves as a drive motor, by the way. And then also we have this other orange connection here, uh, which orange, of course, is high voltage. We have it coming over here on this side of the trans. This is actually a high voltage hydraulic pump that is used for um, auto stop, when we auto stop the engine, we still have to have pressure going inside the trans. Uh, this is a high voltage pump here, so it's also part of the high voltage system. And then coming around to the, uh, the very front of the trans here, this is the uh, torque damper. Uh, of course, the engine is connected to the front of the trans here, and the uh, uh, damper, of course, is connected to the engine and connects the uh, engine to transmission. So these are the external components of the 4ET50 transmission, and uh, we hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.